Greetings friend. Watch Refrigeration News for Wednesday, December 6, 2023 on our channel. Tefcold presented new freezer models. Mydea Group announced the launch of its third industrial complex in Egypt. Keeping it chill, how to meet cooling demands while cutting emissions. Investing in sustainable cooling to protect the planet. Key measures could slash predicted 2050 emissions from cooling sector. Rack 2024. Imbraco and Bayer Ref renew global partnership. Maersk Container Industries Sexton adopts Copeland's Refcon 6 BLE monitoring system. BAC announces enhancements to the Vertex Evaporative Condenser. Dear friend, please like this video if it was useful for you. First news today. Tefcold presented new freezer models. Tefcold updated all IC and NIC freezers. The ice cream freezers have the same great abilities as before, but the new models come with two visible design changes, an extra ventilated grill and a digital thermometer. There has also been an improvement in terms of energy efficiency and all cabinets now have an EU Energy Class D. Display Ice Cream Freezers We have several designs to choose from, when it comes to display ice cream freezers. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Mydea Group announced the launch of its third industrial complex in Egypt. Mydea Group announced the launch of its third industrial complex in Egypt in the industrial zone in Sadat City, with investments of million, bringing the volume of Mydea Group's investments in the Egyptian market to million and opening the door to approximately 3,900 new job opportunities and exports to all parts of the world. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Keeping it chill. How to Meet Cooling Demands While Cutting Emissions Speech Inger Anderson at 28 Colombian Pesos What we are looking for at these climate talks are ways to slash greenhouse gas emissions in line with the 1.5 degrees Celsius and 2 degrees Celsius pathways of the Paris Agreement. We need to do this while giving every person on this planet the chance at development and a decent life, including by adapting to climate change. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Investing in sustainable cooling to protect the planet. On December 2, world leaders gathered at 28 Colombian pesos for the first summit on methane and non-CO2 greenhouse gases. This gathering highlighted the importance of tackling superpollutants, including hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, in slowing warming in the near term to keep climate targets within reach. Our national leaders took a significant step towards delivering on this fast mitigation strategy with the recent decision to nearly double contributions to the Multilateral Fund, MLF, for the implementation of the Montreal Protocol to nearly billion USD over the next three years. Read more the news on our website today. Fifth news today. Key measures could slash predicted 2050 emissions from cooling sector. Over 60 countries signed up to a so-called cooling pledge with commitments to reduce the climate impact of the cooling sector, that could also provide universal access to life-saving cooling, take the pressure off energy grids, and save trillions of dollars by 2050. Taking key measures to reduce the power consumption of cooling equipment would cut at least 60% off predicted 2050 sectoral emissions, provide universal access to life-saving cooling, take the pressure off energy grids and save trillions of dollars by 2050, according to a new report published during the COP28 climate talks in Dubai. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth news today. RAC 2024. The 2024 China International Air Conditioning Ventilation and Refrigeration and Cold Chain Industry Exhibition, RACC, is a highly influential professional exhibition in China. This exhibition is based on the advantages of Zhejiang Refrigeration Industry Base and aims to create a new international business card for China, receiving strong support from governments at all levels in Zhejiang Province. Read more the news on our website today. Seventh news today. Embraco and Bayer Ref Renew Global Partnership Embraco and Bayer Ref announced a new three-year partnership renewal. First established in 2015, the long-lasting alliance aims to strengthen their position in the wholesaling business and boost the distribution of a complete refrigeration portfolio at a global level. 
Embraco's brand solutions for commercial and residential refrigeration are sold in 90 countries and the Bayer Ref Group has 150-plus subsidiaries and 500-plus branches spread across 45 countries. Read more the news on our website today. Eighth news today. Maersk Container Industries Sexton adopts Copeland's Refcon 6 BLE monitoring system. Copeland and Maersk Container Industry, MCI announced that they are collaborating to integrate Copeland's Refcon 6 BLE reefer monitoring system with MCI's Star Cool reefer containers fitted with Sextant gateways. This collaboration helps aggregate multiple IoT provider datasets to improve cold chain visibility in the marine shipping industry. Read more the news on our website today. Ninth news today. BAC announces enhancements to the Vertex Evaporative Condenser. Baltimore Air Coil Company, BAC, announces enhancements to the Vertex Evaporative Condenser, where peak reliability meets easy maintenance. For models with the EC fan system, enhanced controls are now available including a user interface and integral pump control which maximizes uptime and reliability. In 2018, when we launched the Vertex Evaporative Condenser, we began our innovation process by seeking to understand what our customers really need and want from us. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Join Refrigeration Group on Facebook and LinkedIn. Please find the links below.